Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Lavellia's Coloring. I am going to be doing my coloring supplies haul. I decided to separate my haul into two separate videos because I think if I did both of my supplies and my coloring books together in one video, it's going to be too long. So um, my supplies were, I bought them from like the end of February I believe till like the beginning of April I just had one more package come in which I'll share with you later and so I'm also going to be doing some swatching on a couple of the mediums that I have here to share with you so we're going to go ahead and start off with these flare glitter extra sparkle gel pen so these gel pens I've shown um, previously in other haul videos I've mentioned them in some of my finished colorings I do use them like on the Sun Life drawing books where you have to color in between the lines I like to use these for like the lines dots and spirals also the spiral glyphics book um, they are very glittery I have a swatch here that I did previously so this one is the flare you can see how it shimmers when the light hits it. It's very similar to the Link Shine, the colors especially and the shine. So I just pick up whichever one is the better price. And so that's why I ended up picking up three packages of flares. So at first I picked up one because it was like $3 and some change. And then so since it was still three dollars a couple days later i decided to pick up two more especially because just using one gel pen can complete one whole like spiroglyphic or um probably like almost finish one pen for one whole like page from the travel mosaics by sunlight drawing so i decided to pick up a couple more packages um while they're still like three something dollars so yeah so these are the flare glitter extra sparkle gel pens the next supply i want to share with you is this three ring binder this is three inches it is the d-shaped rings and then also these folders over here so these folders came in a bundle there were three packs in that bundle and each of the packs came with five of five folders so you have this clear one green blue you have this um pink one and then you have this yellow one so and all together i have 15 of these folders so i do have a plan for this for my pdfs I was going to print them out on printer paper and have them size smaller so I have like at least two in one um, one page so it will be easier for me to see and I got this actually from Nikki and Niagara that's how she shared her PDFs in her hauls and uh, I really liked how she did it and I thought it would be a good idea so that I'm not always scrolling looking for my file on my <laughs> computer I can just look through this and then pick out the image that I want to color and then print that out but then I'm also planning to um, add the finished coloring to the folder that um, the PDFs come from and then I'm also going to make dividers for each of the illustrators so like this one's going to be christine karen no no um mystic art mirrors this one's christine karen and then we have here fabiana atanasio so yeah so i already have a finished um coloring for mystic art and then i have one for deborah Mueller right over here sorry for the glare and then so yeah that's my plan for this folder The next apply is the Pan Pastel palette tray and cover. So um, I've actually had this in my wish list for a long time and I've been just kind of like seeing the price. Um, it was like staying around like the $20 area and then finally went down to like $15. So I went ahead and picked it up. So um, it fits 20 pans, which is perfect because I have the portrait set. And yeah, when I was using it, I was getting frustrated like 
twisting it open to find the color that I need, but then trying to put it back together. It's like coming out, um, ending up crooked. So I have to always correct myself. So this is going to be very, very useful in setting up my portrait set of pan pastels. So yeah, so this is the palette tray and cover. So the next one is this pencil case here with the handle on the side and one zipper. It's a small pencil case. It has polar bears, which are very, very cute. I love the colors in this with the blush color along with the turquoise. So I'm not sure who the seller is or the brand name, but I'll have it down below in the video description. So I bought this pencil case to house my Crayola Twistables. and. I wasn't going to get a pencil case for them, but they just kept falling out of the flimsy cardboard box that they came in and I was scared I was just going to lose them. So I decided to just go ahead and get this pencil case. So I'm not, I don't remember if I showed um, my pencils, they are all labeled and I do have them swatched. Yeah, I can't remember if I shared this, but this is how it looks like. Very pretty. And yeah, so I really like this case for my Crayola Twistables. The next supply I got were these um, Apple Barrel acrylic paint. So these are the matte acrylic paint. These come as a set and i can't remember how much they were i got this back in february so um, this set comes with cameo pink and blue cotton i thought these were very pretty pastel colors they'll be great for background so i wanted to pick this up so again this is the apple barrel matte acrylic paint in cameo pink and blue cotton The next supply is one that I've been wanting to get for a little bit. So this is the Ohuhu Pastel Brush Markers. And I did say in a previous haul that if it ever does become available, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. So that's what happened. It finally came back. And so this is, I believe, 46 colors, uh, brush markers. So in one end, have the brush marker very nice and pointed at the tip and then you have the chisel nib on the other side and I've used them all on several colorings already and um, blended them with colors from the 120 set that I have and they you know work beautifully <laughs> of course I have no problems with them so here is the color swatch for this pastel set. Very lovely colors. Yeah, so this is the Ohuhu pastel brush markers. So the next, or actually last few of the items I'm going to share with you are all Sharpies. I went on a Sharpie spree. So the first of them that I'm going to share with you are these blue ones. This is the neon blue. I've been running out of my light blue markers like the Bix and of course the light blue from Sharpie. And I ran across these on Amazon. I read one of the comments that said that these neon blues actually look lighter than the actual light blues that was provided in the original set. So um, this actually came as a three pack. I am using one of them already to color in my travel mosaic. I have it right here so you can see what the light blue looks like, which is this one, which is pretty. So um, yeah, so this come in a three pack and yeah, very happy to have those. So those are the first ones. The next one I'm going to share with you are the Electro Pop. So I'm missing these five colors. So I decided to go ahead and pick these up. And I'm going to do a swatching of these and the blue ones. And then, of course, the last one that I'm going to share with you, which is the Mystic Gems. So um, 
they only have the fine point they don't have the ultra fine yet and i don't know if this is also the same colors that come in like that special edition that came out at walmart but there are 14 i believe 14 new colors so i'm going to also do a swatching of this one so we're going to go ahead and start with this one to swatch I'll be right back with my color charts Okay, so here is the page that I'm going to be doing my swatches for Mystic Gems, Electro Pop, and Neon Blue. This is in the Color Charts Color Collection Edition book, and it's by Yasmin Eldahan over here. It is a smaller size book. It is um, 6 by 9 inches, and I do have a Sharpie page already in here, but it's already pretty much all filled except for four spaces. I do have colors from like color bursts, cosmic colors, some are from the nature tones and summer splash and Caribbean tones or Caribbean tones. <laughs> so the rest of the Sharpie colors are going to be in this page. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the mystic gems. So red is a color that we already have. I'm just going to go ahead and Swatch it in here. Actually, you know what? Almost forgot to put a cardstock in the back. There we go. I love how pointed this one is. There's some tips that are like so blunt, but this one is very sharp. I think it's sharp. I think I've gotten used to the Sharpie smell. So this one is Cabocon Coral. Cabocon Coral. So I forgot to mention that um, all the colors, I got them from Blix uh, website. You can look up mystic gems and it has them all in order by the way the package is um, set up so you don't have to like try to figure out which one is which so this is the cabocon coral and i've already labeled all of my sharpies I'm ready to go so this one is orion orange this one is not a new one i believe this one is from the cosmic one. So I'm not being very careful. You can see it's already spreading out on that one. The next one is amber, and I think amber is a new one too. So here is how amber looks like. It's like a or ochre color to me. Yellow ochre. Next one is regular green. This one comes with every set, I believe. I'm gonna have plenty of greens. Next one is Jasper Green. That one is a new one. So here's the color of the cap. I'm not sure if I was sharing that. So That's a nice color. I like that one. Next one is Teal's Tiger or Teal Tiger's Eye. Just this color. Very nice. Trying not to get too close to the edge because it's spreading very easily. There. Very nice. Next one is Peacock Blue. So this one is also new. I like the colors in this set. Okay, next one is Blue. So this one everyone has. Or every set pretty much has. Okay, 
Okay, next one is tanzanite. Here's a very pretty color. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's the cap to sting off. Kind of almost look like another color. Oh no, never mind. Looks brighter. Tanzanite. Next one. So tanzanite is new. We have purple fluorite. This this one's very pretty purple. Here. I like this one. Very nice. I'm gonna say that for all of the colors probably. But it's true. <laughs> so that's the purple fluorite. Next one is purple. And this one of the regular colors. I'm just trying to go fast. I'm like shaking a little bit, so <laughs> Uh, there we go. And then black. Yeah, we know what black looks like. Of course, I'm trying to be careful again, but I think that's good. And the next one is pink. One of the regular colors. Yeah, I think I'm just very used to the Sharpie smell now. Because before, it used to bother me all the time, but now I just don't mind it. So this one is a new color. This one is Rose Quartz. Oh, you can see it. a nice color. So rose quartz. Next color is peach which I believe is not a new color. Next one is probably going to say this wrong. Citron. And it's like a pale yellow. That's what it looks like on the cap. Let's see how it looks like. Oh yeah, very pale yellow. That's a pretty color too. Next one is mint. Here, this is one of the regular colors, I think. Or maybe it came from a different pack. I didn't realize there were so many different kinds of packs that the Sharpies came in. And some of them are discontinued too. This one is Geode Green. I think I said that right. This is a new color. So looks nice on the cap. The cap color. Nice. So the geo green. Next one is aquamarine. Is another new color. Here, very pretty. I like this one. And light blue topaz is also another new color. Here's light blue topaz. This is a nice light blue color. It's like baby blue. So light blue topaz. And then another new one, which is violet chalcedony. Chalcedony. This one's very pretty too. I like muted soft colors. There. So violet chalcedony. Sorry if I mispronounced any of the words 
freaking names. <laughs> next, next one is another new one, which is Lavender Mika. Or Mika? Mika. This one is nice too. Oh my goodness. These are such pretty colors. I should get another pack just because I like the colors. Um, I haven't seen a pack where it just so just the new colors. And there's 14 of them. So, And so the last color in this pack is Celestial Gray. And those are the 14 colors so cabocon coral pretty amber jasper green teal tiger's eye peacock blue tanzanite purple fluorite rose quartz like that one <laughs> citrine uh, geode Green, aquamarine, light blue topaz, violet chalcedony, and lavender mica. Very pretty. So yeah, so this again is called Mystic Gems. And I've only seen the fine point again. Um, I believe the ultra fine is going to be out sometime this month or next month. I'm not sure. So I'm going to also swatch the Electro Pop. And that one's already open and labeled. So I'm going to start off with the Optic Orange. And I like to, I don't know if anyone else um, swatches their Sharpies, but I do. I remember I spent like so long trying to figure out what the names are um, with the other sets, not with the Mystic Gems though. This one is Techno Blue. And I didn't realize some sets are a mix of like several different ones. Like the pastel has colors from different sets too. So yeah. So next one is now Nano Blue. So with the electric pop, electro pop um, set, I just decided to get the five colors. I think those are the only colors that are new or in the Electro Pop. But if I'm wrong, let me know. So this one is Electric Pink. Like that's like bubblegum pink. There. And then we have. Oops, sorry. Ultra Violet. It's a nice purple color. There, and then I'm gonna do the neon blue. Even though I already showed you <laughs> how it looks like. This is the neon blue. See, this one has the tip isn't as sharp compared to like the ultraviolet one. Let me see. So some of the sharpies are really sharp, and then some of them aren't. You can see the difference. But yeah, I really like the sharp ones. So these are the colors, the new sharpies that I got we have the mystic gems the electro pop and the neon blue so that is all of my coloring supplies haul i will hopefully have my coloring books haul ready and out soon after i'm not sure when this video is going to be coming out but um everything that i have shown in this video was bought from Amazon so I will provide the links to the items in the video description. I am an Amazon affiliate so I do get some change uh, if you do use the links that I provide. 
but it is at no cost to you. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my supplies haul. I will see you all at my next video. Please take care, keep safe, and happy colorings. Bye-bye.